What does it mean to await a Messiah? To yearn for a Redeemer, a Savior, a Liberator? For centuries, the people of Jerusalem had been anticipating the arrival of a Messiah, a figure prophesied to deliver them from their oppressors and restore the glory of David's kingdom. Yet, when the long-awaited moment finally arrived, the Messiah's entrance was not as a conquering hero, but as a humble servant. This is the story of Christ's triumphal entry into Jerusalem, an event of profound significance that marked the beginning of a pivotal week in history, known today as the Holy Week. As Jesus neared the city of Jerusalem, having journeyed from Galilee, he dispatched two of his disciples to a nearby village with a specific task. They were to find a colt tied up and bring it to him. This seemingly simple act was, in fact, steeped in symbolism and significance. The colt, a humble and peaceful creature, was not the mount of a warrior, but of a servant. This was a clear message to the expectant masses. Jesus had not come to establish an earthly kingdom, but a spiritual one. The disciples did as they were told, locating and bringing the colt to Jesus. As Jesus rode into the city, the people of Jerusalem welcomed him with an outpouring of joy and reverence. They spread their cloaks on the road, a gesture of respect and submission usually reserved for kings. It was a clear acknowledgement of Jesus as their Messiah and King. This momentous event was not only a fulfillment of the prophecy in Zechariah chapter 9 verse 9, where it was foretold that the Messiah would enter Jerusalem riding on a donkey, but it also signified the beginning of a new era. It marked the establishment of the kingdom of God and the promise of Christ's final entrance into the heavenly Jerusalem with all believers. As we chant on Palm Sunday, we say, Today the sayings are fulfilled from the prophecies and the Proverbs. As Zechariah prophesied and said, a prophecy about Jesus Christ. The triumphal entry into Jerusalem was more than just an event. It was a declaration, a promise, and a fulfillment. It was a clear message from Jesus to his followers and to the world that he was indeed the Messiah they had been waiting for. But he was not a Messiah of war and conquest, but of peace, humility, and servitude. In summary, Christ's triumphant entry into Jerusalem was a transformative event that shifted the course of history. It marked the beginning of Holy Week, a time of reflection and remembrance for Christians worldwide. It fulfilled ancient prophecies, revealed Jesus as the true Messiah, and signaled the establishment of a spiritual kingdom of God. The humble colt, the joyous welcome, and the spread cloaks were not just details, but symbols of a deeper truth a truth of humility, peace, and ultimate sacrifice for the greater good. The Coptic Orthodox Church chants melodies on Palm Sunday, saying, Hosanna in the highest, this is the King of Israel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. He who sits upon the cherubim today appeared in Jerusalem, riding on a colt with great glory, surrounded by ranks of the angels. On the road, they spread garments, and from the trees, they cut branches while proclaiming with hymns, Hosanna to the Son of David. Today, the sayings are fulfilled from the prophecies and the Proverbs, as Zechariah prophesied and said a prophecy about Jesus Christ. To him, the glory forever and ever. Amen.